když Robert dobyvatel přišel na výroční zasedání so well, then Baron Club uh, was attended by zásadní conqueror so he said pánové The future lies with the airplanes, which are heavier than air. And I think that it was very provocative, and I see something similar as the conqueror. So that there is no national solution to the energy self sufficiency. This uh, uh, energetic self-sufficiency is an illusion. The problem of discussions in the Czech Republic is that they are dedicated only to technical and economic aspects. They are not taking into account the social aspects, and this is a very important parameter because such a large project is a, a social project. It is not only a technical issue, but the issue of the whole society. An important factor is that the basic parameters of our geographic position are the same. We are inside the continent and we are on the crossroads, which can be easier by, uh, bypassed. And as for the coal, it cannot be mined, and uh, basically the coal mining is to be finished because the coal will be exhausted. If our position is not changing around, so then we have a dynamic factor called time here. So service life of the nuclear source is roughly 100 years. We start with the preparation and then in the end it has to be disassembled. So, uh, the name of this conference is uh, the order of the uh, century, but I would just replace it. This is the decision for 100 years, for a century, and it's uh, longer than uh, life expectancy. So, when we take into account the limit for the current company, it's uh, until 2060. And we uh, count on uh, uh, just uh, uh, taking into account the Dukovani erection of 10 years, commissioning, and so on. So we are coming to the 2000, uh, or we are coming to 2120, and two, two new blocks in Temelin could be then uh, servicing until 2060. So it, uh, it could be commissioned in 2060, and uh, the operation could finish in 2140. What will be the regulatory or political framework at the time is unclear. European uh, Union doesn't have to exist, but it may. Czech uh, as a state doesn't have to exist. Czech language could be a family and home language, but it won't be the carrier of civilization as a Luxembourg language. What the situation would look like, uh, there is uh, too much uncertainty. The society will be aging and will be talking about the culture aspect, uh, artificial intelligence, and so on. And the population will be lower. We don't know what economic activities will look like at that time. And the politics will be uh, considerably changed. 
in energy sectors, there will be a decentralization processes taking place. And allow these structures of energy will have human structures, so it can be program political conflict, which can be always taking place everywhere, even in this room. Employment structure will be changed. So. We uh, have a real, uh, relatively small scope of employment, high specialization and qualification requirements are not changing that much. The key systems when we are talking about the 2,000 billion, so we can see the big investment, including the 63% of the increase of government debt, will influence the systems of social character there. This is a old age pension system. No, I'm not talking about the aging of the society and the healthcare system. Just imagine, in 2024, health service uh, costs were 457 billion, pensions were 692 billion. And because these health and pension systems are not very dramatic, so we can expect the trend to decrease the cost for them to release the financing, uh, to release the money for financing nuclear power plants erection. So I would like to say that nuclear energy will be associated with a lot of uh, political and social conflicts. Nuclear energy in these uh, 120 years will be changing all the time. But the nuclear energy will be an island of no change. Short-term consequences will be connected to the European correction, so we need some three to 400 workers for erection of one block, and the decision about the nuclear sector is uh, uh, something like a steel town of Gilles Verne. It means a nuclear power plant is something like a steel town which has to be preserved without any changes while all the society is changing. How to keep sufficient number of employees in the sector for the period longer than 100 years? We need high qualified group of people. Preferences will be changing and so on. So how to keep these people? Because even in the nuclear uh, sector, there is aging taking place. And uh, the French colleague was uh, uh, showing to us that within 10 years, 25% of highly qualified people have to be replaced. And when using new resources, it will be necessary to have four to five thousand of additional workers, and they will need a, a, a different qualification because the technologies will be different, so their knowledge has to be different. So nothing will be completely identical. 
When we start with small modular reactor, these questions will be even sharper because they will be supporting a certain structure and these reactors are neither small nor modular. But uh, this will prove to be so in a longer time. But for the, for the moment, they are neither of this. And we know how many uh, employers uh, employees they need, between 500 and 800 per one gigawatt. It will be necessary to use experts from abroad and we won't be able to cover the need of experts from domestic sources. Taking into account uh, the labor, there will be a competition with other projects abroad, for example, in Poland. And when you uh, take into account uh, the market share of Polish building companies in uh, our country, so this will be a problem. So we are coming beyond the capacities and possibilities of the Czech Republic. Of course, then we have uh, then we have uh, final storage, but I won't be talking about it. The final storage will have to be decided from above. 125 years means that the international situation will not be stable. And nuclear energy can stop existing. Uh, we have to take it into account because China is um, playing an important role here. Then another aspect requiring high qualification of people is nuclear supervision. But there is not a full theory prepared for the needs of uh, uh, qualifications for small uh, reactors. The next aspect is defense and safety. Think of 9-11 uh, and the prime minister was in hospital and I was a prime minister in the so I was mobilizing the uh, whole country and one of the problems was to uh, to uh, just uh, guarantee the uh, air resistance of this country, especially over the nuclear power plants. And it's necessary to prepare the defense taking this into account. War in the Ukraine is showing that this risk cannot be excluded and, if, and it uh, doesn't mean that it cannot happen at a, some future point. Conclusions, social, political and cultural context, both internal and external, it means international, one will influence the success or failure of the nuclear energy development. Service life of the nuclear power plants uh, is uh, just coming beyond the, uh, our abilities of planning and uh, to, and it's very difficult to estimate how it will be and how to have a reliable control. So we are talking about the horizon of 120 years and I would like to quote just one uh, Slovak uh, author of the 19th century who said, what will be out of us 100 years later.